Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the brand new Droix branded Proteus 10 series Windows Mini PC. We will be unboxing it and taking a look at the features of the device. Let's get straight on with the unboxing. Inside we have a quick start guide which is in full English and shows everything you need to get up and running. Next we have the Droix Proteus Mini PC which we will show in more detail shortly. Inside the packaging are a power brick and power cable. We will include the correct adapter for your country. There is a mounting plate, SATA cable and screws to install a R drive or SSD inside the Proteus. And last but not least, there are two Wi-Fi antennas which screw into the Wi-Fi points on the back of the device. The Droix Proteus measures approximately 5.11 by 5.03 by 1.8 inches and weighs around 665 grams. On the front are two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. There is a 3.5mm headphone port and power button. On the back from left to right is the power connector. Beside that is the gigabit ethernet port. There are two additional USB 3.0 ports. There is a HDMI and display port which can be used together for dual monitor support. There is a USB type C port which can be used to connect peripherals too. You can open the lid via the two screws at the back if you wish to upgrade the RAM or NVMe SSD. You can also install a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD by connecting the cable to the board and drive and then fixing it to the mount with the supplied screws. The arrow on the mount points towards the front of the device. Let's take a brief look at the two Proteus 10 models technical specifications. The Proteus 10 features an Intel i5-10310U CPU running up to 4.4GHz. The 10S features the more powerful Intel i7-10510U running up to 4.9GHz. Both feature the Intel UHD graphics which runs up to 1.15GHz. Depending on the configuration, you can have 16 or 32 gigs of DDR4 2666 megahertz RAM and up to one terabyte of fast M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. Both models have fast gigabit Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. The second part of our video review will cover the two models in more detail. We will perform some system and gaming benchmarks to test and compare the i5 and i7 processors performance. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, it really helps to grow the channel. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.